first of all I have a few a few problems with this class that I really don't like the way things look there's lots of duplicated code So I got to find a way to pull it out and make functions or references of some sort. This looks the same as this. That looks the same as that. I think I can use an ordinary un Ulinary function, uh, ulinary mod um, operator, Ul ulinary operator. Don't know how to say it, but it can reduce this whole statement to one line. My add and remove here looks the same, except for this line. We have a loop. We have a condition check. We have a set. And we have a call here to uh, a method. More duplicated code. One thing changes in, in both of them is the check to the state at which it's going to be set to this can be removed right off the bat <laughs> alright from what I can see these can be pulled out into a function that yeah, definitely and I'd like to try some lam lambda expressions on, on these things here I think we can create a function in start passing in some funks and actions to take care of the conditions and the setting of, of these variables alright firstly let's turn these into functions name it advanced state next step yeah that's a as a parameter probably going to be adding another parameter to change direction an advanced state yeah yeah so that inverse is the vector so this would be a direction of one and this would be a direction of negative one alright that looks good so what do we have here alright we need a direction We'll multiply the, the result by the direction, and that would give us the forward and the reverse. Secondly, we have this statement here that can also be pulled out in a function. Hi, welcome. I'm uh, creating a few functions here to re remove all the duplicate coding. Just created the advanced state function to replace here and 
now I'll be creating some another function to take care of this one looks like we're gonna need some sort of expression to fill this out probably a lambda expression might work so I am here now Extract the method. Mm. This moves the head left to right on the screen. Just call it side move. And that's also going to take a direction, but we're going to need a lot more. So, let's set it up. Need a direction. That is to modify the right from right to left right and now this is where we're gonna use that funk reference part of the system namespace there's a lot of predefined delegates This one's going to return a boolean because we want to evaluate an expression here so we can call this function if the expression is true. So it's going to be a boolean. Wants to know if it, if it can advance. Seems like a pretty simple, simple way to, to go. So now to go left, we want to move in the direction of negative one, and we want to evaluate. This can just be a, a boolean. We, I don't even think I need a f a funk in here. If can advance. Then advance. And can advance will state that at the exposition. All right. And also for moving right. I just like the ideas of using those funks and <laughs> stuff them in anywhere. So that should take care of that. Now that's a lot of code reduction. Okay, that one that, that looks good. Maybe I should test it before I move on. So on to Unity. Not necessarily. Um, it's always worth taking steps to to improving your code for future use um, and yes I, I'm just building a package and this is the closing end of the package so I'm cleaning up and getting everything all tidied up and I figured I'll just go ahead and explain some of the things that I'm doing to, to make it tidy So yes, everything works. So now on to our add and remove functions. Now given the nature of this code, uh, well let me just get started and uh, we'll see how, how, how everything's implemented here. It's not going to return a value. It's going to be modifying our links for the snake head. This is uh, one of the game's samples I'm going to release with the package. It's uh, like the old centipede game, but 
just not really a game just to show that things can be spawned from the pool manager and recycle and it can change values on objects via the recycler without um, anyone having to re write any extra code it can use what's already written in your in your scripts in program so that's the aim here so I get to write a lot of code so someone else does not have to so let's see if this one can can be modified can mod and that will be the this check here as we see here we have in order to add a link first we enforce a uh, maximum links then we iterate so we have if not link in unity speak this evaluates to a boolean checks to see if a game object transform or any of the component does not evaluate to null so I if not then do this so this this will be our function call here to can mod so if we can modify modify if we can modify modify that's where we're headed so here we now have can mod if we can mod we will want to call an an action this is also a predefined delegate in the system namespace and this is a, just a method Funks return a value, last parameter, in the angle brackets. Actions just take parameters and they output no value, they're void. Take a transform. and uh, taking the transform this call is going to evaluate to this statement so it's going to take an integer and it's going to take a transform links is a list of transforms so if can mod let's call this do mod and let's get some line spacing here so we can see what's going on. So if can mod, do mod, and we'd like to pass in a transform of what we want to mod. This is the transform we're checking against. But as you notice here and here, it's being set to two different values. So we can't use the transform that we're passing in. We have to actually pass in a, something else to set it to. And in some cases, it may actually be the transform that we're passing in. So our mod trans. And we need one more statement. This parameter is also an action, and this is going to do the bottom part. So if all of this fails, then we're going to need to remove the item or add it. This is a replace statement. This is a remove. But it nulls the array index. It doesn't clear it. It would be really bad to be giving out a pool manager and uh, you know I'm instantiating and deleting stuff <laughs> in memory. You know, it totally defeats the purpose. So I have to try to practice good coding practices you know as I as I go so this is what happens if this all fails so we have a transform we're checking to see if we can modify that transform and if we can modify the transform we will do our mod 
which will either set it to null in the case of the remove method or set its transform to the incoming transform in the case of the add member to head movement class. Else, if we don't return, we're going to either remove it completely from the list or we're going to add a new transform to the list. So let's close this off. Yeah, this is generally the hardest part of creating these things is trying to figure out what what do you need to do and how and of course we are, you do it and then it, it doesn't work <laughs> so you try again so hopefully you guys are not in for too much of a wild ride so we go through our links we check against our transform this is the same that's the same so our can mod so if we can modify, and it's asking for an integer, and that will be our index, then we're going to do our modification, call our do mod call. Do mod, it's asking for that integer again, do mod what? We're going to do mod mod trans. Mod trans. So again, this mod trans is the extra transform that we'll be passing in here to set our current index to. So if we can modify, we do modify. If not, we'll need to call a function here. And the function we'll be calling would be else mod. Else mod takes a transform, and that's the original transform we pass in, the first parameter. I think that's all. Since we haven't applied any of this function, I'm not going to test it right now. In this tutorial, we refactored existing code, and in some instances, used Lambda expressions. Brought to you by Calo Creation. Don't forget to follow us on your favorite social media, visit our website, and quals. Thank you.